My name's Nick Barley and I'm director of the Edinburgh International Book Festival. But over the past year I've also had the privilege of being the chair of the Man Booker International Prize for Fiction. And as part of the research I was doing for that, I took a trip to Argentina last year to try to meet as many Argentinian writers as I could. And one of the great things about being in Argentina was that I was told when I was there about a new publisher that was launching devoted to Latin American fiction. And guess where that publisher is based? Right here in Edinburgh. So you had to go to, all the way to Buenos Aires to find out about <laughs> the best uh, Latin American publishing. So I, I'm joined here today by Carolina Orloff, who's the founder of that, of that press, which is called Charco Press. Uh, so first of all, oh, Charco, what does that mean? Charco. Charco, no, very, very nicely said. That means uh, paddle in Spanish, and it's usually used as a metaphor for the Atlantic Ocean, uh, referring to people from Argentina, but also Latin America in general, crossing the paddle into Europe. Okay. So fantastic. the idea of Charco Press is doing exactly that, bringing Latin American literature across the paddle. It's very cunning. Very yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> into the UK and into the English speaking reader in, yeah. in general. And that of course is, has been something of a, a theme of the book festival this year in particular, but in recent years too, th this notion of a transatlantic relationship and asking the question of how we can sustain that transatlantic relationship even as political systems change. So let's talk about uh, about Argentinian literature in particular. Uh, is it true to say there's a, there's a great new wave of Argentinian fiction right now? I think so, yes, and I hope it's a big, big wave and that it lasts, but uh, definitely there's a lot happening and very varied. Uh, so there's, uh, for everybody out there, there's uh, very different literature, very bold literature um, from younger writers, uh, females, males, and uh, it's, it's, it's a really fascinating time for Argentinian literature in general. So and you could genu genuinely say it's a new wave of Argentinian literature? I think so, because it's, um, uh, there's, there's the, the younger generations are out there writing and publishing, getting published. Um, and, and it's a fascinating process because very small publishing houses are picking them up and, and doing amazing editions with uh, very interesting young writers. Yeah, um, we, know, we know in, the, in Europe about magic realism and the legacy of magic, real, magic realism. To what extent is magic realism a part of this new wave? Is it a rejection of magic realism or is it a, mm. a development of magic realism? Or does magic realism have nothing to do with it? <laughs> well, I think magic realism has helped um, bring Latin American literature into the into the imagination of the UK readership. Uh, but I think when you're over there reading, um, magic realism is not a reference at all. It's 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 up, up in the you know back in the past. Yeah. Uh, so I don't think it's a rejection to it. It's just a development from it natural, naturally. Yeah. Yeah. Um, all right. So let's let's talk about some names. Um, okay. Which which of the Argentinian writers are you really excited about? Um, well, I'm very excited about the Argentinian writers that are here at the book festival, which is uh, fantastic. There's five of them this year. Uh, it's pretty unique. So we've got Mariana Enriquez uh, speaking today, I believe, Tuesday. I'm interviewing uh, her, actually. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, she's a fantastic writer. And then Samantha Schweblin tomorrow, uh, who of course was shortlisted for the International Man Booker Prize. Uh, and we've got Yossi Avilio on Saturday and then we've got two very special authors at least for me because they're uh, part of Charcoal Press and that's Ariana Harwicks uh, speaking on Thursday with Louis Doughty and Gabby, Gabby Cabezon Camera speaking on Saturday so lots of options there um, a big array of Argentinian writers in yeah. particular yes yeah. okay very quickly then tell us about about Charco Press and, and what, how many books will you publish each year and, and what, what's the sort of scope of, of your activities? Okay, uh, well we're starting with five books um, this year, uh, three coming out now right after the festival but we, we're doing an exclusive sale here at the festival um, uh, by both Ariana Harwick, so we're publishing Ariana Harwick, Gabi Cabezon and Ricardo Romero, who's also a young up and coming writer. And uh, then in January, we're coming out with uh, Luis Agasti and Jorge Concilio, all names that hopefully will mean something to people eventually. And then later on uh, next year, we're coming, uh, we're publishing six books, uh, but broadening up to other Latin American countries. So uh, there'll be a Brazilian author, a Peruvian big star author, a Colombian writer, uh, an Argenti two Argentinians again, and a Uruguayan. Wow, well, it's gem. so ambitious. Yes, oh, we're very ambitious, yes. More than ambitious, we're very passionate. Yeah. And, and we think that there's been a gap 
for way too long in, in the English speaking readership on contemporary Latin American authors. So we're yeah. hoping to shake the scene a bit and, yeah. and see what happens. So, so well, yeah, the idea is to publish each year just with, with more books and go wider and wider in, in, in Latin America. Yeah, That's well, the at the book festival, we'll do whatever we can, not only to help Chaco Press, but also to promote Latin American literature, where, to, in, to my mind, there's so much good going on. Let's end by, um, uh, just help us by suggesting if people want to start with one Latin American novel published now, mm -hmm. a new novel, which one should they start with? Oh, that's hard. <laughs> <laughs> uh, tricky. Uh, it depends on what you like, I suppose. Um, but, well, from the festival, I would recommend definitely uh, Maybe Lina Meruana, you could be. Lina Meruana, the Chilean yes, writer. Yes, who'll be here next week. Yeah, right? I'm very excited she'll be coming next yes, week. Yes, she's excellent. Um, and she's translated by Megan McDowell as exactly. well. Fantastic translator. Absolutely. And not published by Charco, so it's a very humble no, thing no. to say. No, no. Yes. <laughs> well, I, I like her and I admire her, so I, I think maybe she'll be a good one to pick up. Well, Lina Meruana is appearing here next week. So thank you very much, Carolina Olaf, and all the best with Charco Press. Thank you, Nick. Thanks for coming Thank on. you. Thanks for having me.